There are a ton of videos out there showing how to delete blank rows in Excel. And guess what? I'm going to bore you with another. However, I do want to expose a flaw that's rarely mentioned. So stay tuned for that, but let me show you the method first. Here's the original data with blank rows left in. Select the whole range, and on the Home tab, click Find and Select, and then go to Special. Choose Blanks, OK. At this point, you can see the rows we're about to get rid of. So hit the Delete button to shift those cells up. And that works perfectly well, closing up the annoying gaps. You can also do this using the keyboard sequence. Control G, Alt S, K, Enter, Control minus, U, Enter. Try memorizing that. So what's the problem with this method? Well, in short, it relies on every row with data being fully populated. Just to illustrate this, let's start from the beginning again, and I'm going to clear a value this time. So Noah does not have a department anymore, but everyone else does. Let me carry out the same steps I showed you. And take a look. What do you notice? Noah is now part of the finance department, whereas Amelia is the one who doesn't have a department anymore. So what's happened here? It's because when I deleted the cells, it shifted the departments up by one row because Noah's was missing. So now every department from Noah's row downwards is misplaced. What's clear is unless you have data with no unevenness across rows, this method is flawed. So let's use a formula instead. Here's the original data again, and beside it I'll put inside the filter function an if statement that checks whether each cell is blank. If it is, it'll return an empty string. That way no zeros will be shown. And if not, then the regular value will be returned. Then I'll use by row with count A to count how many non-empty cells are in each row. If a row has at least one value, it stays. If it's completely blank, it'll be filtered out. Close up the formula and confirm. The data is returned without the blank rows. But let's do the same test as before by clearing Noah's department. This time, that change is reflected in the result without anything messing up. Be careful with Excel tips that are based on the perfect scenario, because there's always a time when something might go kaput when you least expect it.